Inland Isle is the sequel to Murder on the Orient Express and is once again based on the novel by Agatha Christie about the detective Hercule Poirot. As such, Death on the Nile is a murder mystery trying to solve the mysterious case of people dying, obviously. Death on the Nile is an insanely fun film, especially if you are a fan of the Hercule Poirot books. From what I understand, uh, as I have never actually read any of the Hercule Poirot books myself, the movies are fairly accurate recreations of the books. The only major difference being the kind of way they portray Poirot. This is not coming from me. This is coming from a friend of mine who is a huge fan of the Poirot book series. Speaking personally, I thought this movie was great. I thought the way they handled this character was very, very good. And overall, I thought they did a fantastic job of the storytelling. I think all of the actors in this film did an absolutely fantastic job, especially considering that we are supposed to be able to try and figure out through the story and what is happening, you know, who done it. Because that is the type of story that this is. And I think what makes this movie work really, really well is that you are able to try and figure out who was doing the murder mystery shit and, you know, who did the murder, along with Poirot if you were trying to pick up on who was doing what and kind of, like, maybe pick apart the lies that are being told or, you know, some of the little inconsistencies that you see among it. I think that works really well for the type of film that is being presented. I will admit that I personally am a huge, huge fan of detective stories. I legitimately think that they are incredibly fun stories to tell and work through. I absolutely love the Sherlock Holmes book series, and I'm sure that I would enjoy the Hercule Poirot books if I read them. But I will say this. This movie is not very action oriented. So just for example, and really quick, if you're reading a Sherlock Holmes book, Holmes is a very active investigator going through with a very early form of forensics. He will collect the information that he can at the scene, the information about the person, what we know about them, and then who will proceed to dress up and use different disguises to keep his presence hidden while he goes and discovers how people are, you know, committing the crime and he'll take that into account and he'll go from there. Whereas Poirot takes a more intellectual approach. He interviews everyone involved. He takes statements he formulates in his head based on the conclusions that he finds through talking to people. So, this movie is a, not very, a ton of action happening. A lot of this movie is Poirot gathering the information that he can through talking to the people that are involved in this case. If you want a high action movie, this is not what you're getting here. However, most whodunits are not that, but I still feel that I should warn you about that if you are going into this movie for a more high action mystery. That's not this. This is a very slow burn film where we get the information presented to us and then the build up to who the killer is. Now, personally, I like the way this film ends a lot more then I like how Murder on the Orient Express ends. For me personally, Murder on the Orient Express, I thought ended very poorly. It basically being an extreme cop-out because Poirot couldn't figure out who to turn in because they all were in on it. Spoilers for Murder on the Orient Express, by the way. Though I assume that you are watching this movie if you saw Murder on the Orient Express, though apparently there were people that didn't know the two movies were connected. I'll put a spoiler warning and a jump to whatever time spot this is. This movie, we do actually get an actual conclusion to the mystery of who did the thing, and it feels more earned and not so much a, well, moral quandary ending to me. And personally, I like that a lot more. Now, another thing about this movie, the cast is massive. Absolutely insane with the way that it is set up. Because again, murder mystery. But you have probably about 10 main characters that you have to keep track of on top of Poirot. And honestly, some of the characters don't really feel like characters to me. Though, to be fair, that is also just kind of an advent of we have to focus to be able to get the murder mystery done without the movie dragging on for like three hours. 
And I mean, it works. You don't need to have the backstory for every single character. You don't need to know who everyone has had an affair with, who they all grew up with. Blah, blah, blah. You really just need the simple basics of who each of these characters are. And the movie gives you that. And I think all the actors did absolutely phenomenally with that concept. Honestly, there were no real standout roles in this for me. I think they all did an ex... I think that every actor did an excellent job with all the material that they were given, and even with the limited screen time of some of the characters, I think that the movie did very, very well. The only thing I have to say against this movie is that it very focuses on the themes of love and loss and what that'll do to people. There is a very heavy emphasis on Poirot's past, why he does what he does as the best detective in the world, and it is revealed to us why he acts this way. And I actually think that worked really, really well for his character. But the underlining driving plot of this movie, the mystery is who has killed the... I'm just going to put that out there. That is the murder mystery that we are trying to solve. I think that worked really, really well. Honestly, I don't want to give anything away as to who dies or what happens in this film. If you've read the books, you already know everything that happens. As far as I understand, the movie is effectively the exact same as the book. If you are a fan of the books, I would recommend this film. And even if you just like Murder on the Orient Express, I would also highly recommend this movie. This is an extremely entertaining murder mystery film. And personally, I think that this murder mystery film did a phenomenal job at telling its story. It kept me engaged with its mystery from the beginning of the film and throughout its entire runtime. I, there was no point when the mystery was ongoing that I found myself bored with what was happening. Yes, it takes a little bit to get to that point. I think it was about 30 to 45 minutes before the mystery itself kicks off. But it honestly worked for this because there is a buildup of who each of these characters are, their relationship to each other and why they are here. If you want to go check this film out for yourself, I would highly recommend it. It is an extremely entertaining watch, especially if you're a fan of Murder on the Orient Express or the other Hercule Poirot books. And with everything in consideration, this film the actors, the scripting, the storytelling, the music, which, my god, the music is phenomenal in this film. The cinematography and everything else involved, for me, this movie rolls a 16. Extremely well done, super entertaining, and a hell of a lot of fun just to be enjoyed in general. And if you like murder mysteries, I would highly, highly recommend that you go out and watch this film. Or stream it if it's available for streaming, because I honestly don't know if it is or not. But yes, that is that. I hope that you enjoyed this video from me talking about Death on the Nile. If you have seen the movie, please leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Let me know what you thought about it. I thought it was a really good murder mystery. But that is everything that I have for now. I hope that you all have a fantastic day, and as always, everyone, peace.